Coming up on your Blazer Sports Report, we'll look into the up-and-coming career of a VSU women's basketball player. Then, we'll take the floor with the VSU Red Hots and their journey this season. Stay tuned. Your Blazer Sports Report starts now. Welcome to your Blazer Sports Report. I'm Jessica Pope. And I'm Thomas Wright. Every year, a new group of freshmen take the court for the Lady Blazers basketball team. Each one comes in with expectations of greatness, but it's often difficult to stand out among the veteran players on the squad. However, this past season, one freshman quickly made her presence known. After an up and down 2014-15 season, the Valdosta State women's basketball team graduated five seniors, including the team's two primary point guards. Point guard is one of the most important positions on the court, especially at the college level, as games are often won or lost based on the point guard's play. Heading into the 2015-16 season, Coach Kylie Hill needed to find a new starting point guard, and he turned to freshman Aaliyah Cheatham. Coach Hill and Aaliyah developed a strong bond late in the recruiting process, and that led to Aaliyah realizing she wanted to come play for the Lady Blazers. How I found about VSU was he came to me. I didn't really expect to be at VSU. We do several different things throughout the course of the year, uh, high school games and also going to summer wise. Now for Leah's situation, I'd heard about her through a, a relationship with, with another coach, said, hey, you need to check this kid out. She, she had some unbelievable situations that evolved, play, and I said, we need to start actively pursuing her, and that's kind of evolved from that standpoint. On the tour, it was very great. I just needed to be in a comfortable place. I feel like I got along with the players, they were cool. I can just tell them anything and go to Coach Hill, you know, as a father. My favorite part is he has a great sense of humor. He's funny and I just love him. Upon Aaliyah's arrival to VSU in the fall of 2015, Coach Hill had a vision for Aaliyah, which involved her playing a position she had never played prior to college. The position I played in high school was the two guard. Uh, when I came to VSU, he did tell me that it was an option that I would be playing point guard. So I was able to watch her multiple different times. She was had to play a one, a two, and well as a three in her high school team. So the ability to, to play multiple positions, multiple opportunities to be a decision maker. My biggest challenges were not to turn the ball over, you know, value the ball, be in ball position, and just execute the plays. Not to think about turning the ball over and making mistakes and just, you know, keep your team in it. You know, she was basically putting put the fire and, and she had to work on the job, so to speak. And I think that that experience combined with some of the off the floor stuff is gonna help her basketball IQ. It's gonna help her make better decisions on, on value the ball with shot selection and putting the ball in certain people's hands. We are so excited to see what Aaliyah has in store for the rest of her college career. And it's evident that she already loves playing point guard. I would rather set my teammates up. Uh, I like getting assists, but when it's time for me to, you know, play the play for me, then I would do it for my team. We want her to improve year by year by year, and meaning that by the time she has the opportunity to be a, in her sophomore year into her junior year, you know, definitely be an all-conference player, had a chance to be in an all-American situation, and then also have an academically have a high achievement there too, have to be an, an all-academic player as well. So bar set high, and we'd rather have that bar set high and fall short than meet an average goal and meet that. I think there's a window where, you know, coaches tell you, they've told me, man, she's a great talent, other things, you know, but, you know, her, her it's going to be potential in someone else's eyes, and her ability to reach her own potential is going to be the true ownership and where she's going to get to. Coach Hill has a lot of confidence in me because I do make big plays for the team when it comes down to it, and I execute this plays well. She had proven to us over and over again in a practice setting, as well in certain previous games, that, that she wanted the basketball. And that, like, some kids shy away from that. She wanted to see the risk or fail situation, uh, and that in itself was something that if you want that, you know, we want to give it to you, and she was giving success out of that. I've always been a big closer in the fourth quarter. Something about the fourth quarter I just love. She loves to compete, she loves to win, you know, and will find avenues to find that way to success. And I think that if you can get people around you that know that and will embrace that and hold themselves accountable and people around them accountable, great things will happen. 
My favorite part is winning. Aaliyah's winning mentality is what's going to help her grow and stand out among other young players in the conference. Coach Kylie Hill has already given her the keys to the point guard position. Now, it's up to Aaliyah and her teammates to take the next step and become a force to be reckoned with in the Gulf South Conference. The Lady Blazers graduated four seniors this season, so Aaliyah will now have a new role on the team. However, over the summer, new first faces will join the squad and Aaliyah will have to accept a bigger role. A new season will begin in November, so be sure to join Aaliyah and the rest of the Lady Blazers for another exciting season. The Red Hots have prepared all year to compete in the NDA National Competition and had high hopes of taking home the National Championship Trophy. Winning it all this year was particularly important for the existing group of seniors Jenny Rhodes, Portia Hillman, Captain Melanie Jackson, and co-captain Maya Mabry. The national competition was their last shot at accomplishing a goal that had manifested for four years. Blazer sports reporter Maya Bramletta met up with the seniors, their coach, and a first-year sophomore to document their journey to the NDA competition. We asked the seniors to describe the feeling they get right before they step on the stage in one word, and this is what they had to say. Panic. Excited. Adrenaline. Exhilaration, definitely. The seniors on the team, Melanie, Maya, Portia, and Jenny, are more determined than ever to win a ring. They have full support from their team and coach as well. Melanie is one of our co-captains and has been for the last couple years. She has great leadership ability. She's also a great instructor to where when I want her to teach a particular routine, she's fantastic at not only showing a routine but teaching a routine to where everybody gets it down. They know the counts. They know um, every step. So she's a fantastic instructor as well as teammate. In terms of becoming the captain, there wasn't a vote. Kelly, our coach, picks the captains and she kind of watches you from your freshman year onward and she tries to pick you around sophomore and junior year. Um, it made me feel really proud and really good about myself because you always have that sense of doubt whenever you're doing something, whether or not you're good enough. So when she brought up the fact that I could potentially be a captain, it just made me feel like I all my hard work had kind of paid off a little bit. Maya is the senior that the team looks to for leadership because she has been on the Red Hots for four years and she is co-captain alongside Melanie. I think I became captain because um, as like a freshman and a sophomore, I stepped up. So in her eyes, she's like, okay, that's perfect to be a captain. You know, I naturally emerged as a leader in her eyes, I believe. So um, it, it's a little bit of pressure. Like my sophomore year, I became the um, co-captain. So I was like, oh crap, pressure's on me. But um, I mean, I took to it pretty easily, so. Sammy is a sophomore first year on the Red Hots, but feels like she has been on the team for years because of this group of seniors, especially Maya. She kind of like brought me in and kind of like invited me into more stuff, made me feel more comfortable and like I could be friends with everyone on the team because the first year is pretty intimidating. So it was nice how she included me and made me feel like I wasn't a new person. Jenny is the senior that leads by example. Even though she is the most soft-spoken out of the other three seniors, her actions and how she expresses herself through dance speaks volumes. I joined the Red Hots because after high school I was looking to go into college and still continue dancing, but I wanted to dance competitively, and Valdosta State had the best dance program by far. Um, it's a winning, winning dance team and it's very competitive and I wanted to be a part of that. Jenny is uh, just this amazingly talented, inspiring dancer who I think the rest of the team just looks at to where it's like, well, I need to get, I need to be like her. Jenny, I like, she's really helpful when we're going through workouts and stuff because she's, she can do everything. Portia is the senior that the girls look to for motivation. She is a full-time student majoring in mathematics has a full-time job, and still has time to train for the national competition. I didn't think I was going to have, like, find my best friends on the team, but I have. Um, not just, like, performing. Mostly I like the competition at the end of the year. That's mainly the reason why I joined. Portia is a hard worker. Um, she is dedicated. She pushes herself 
beyond what she like she's already talented but strives to always have more to do more Portia she I think especially during our, my very first week it's terrifying you're here a lot everyone in the team is very close Portia is like the funniest person you'll meet and she she'll just make jokes with you even if she doesn't know you that well Yes, they would be okay with placing if they and the team did the best that they could, but the seniors have their eyes set on the prize, winning the national championship and being able to show off their first place rings. Winning the national championship would mean the world to me. We work so hard throughout the year, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that go into it. So winning the national championship, it would just put all that hard work into a happy place, and it would just make everything that we've done be worthwhile. Like I've always wanted the ring. Like. I don't know, I can't even explain. Like, I just want to have that feeling of being on stage and hearing our name called first place and just like celebrate going crazy. It would be huge, I feel like especially for this group because this is, these seniors are the first class to come through that has doesn't have a ring yet. It's not like your regular dance team. Like we have workouts in the morning and we have rigorous practices three times a week, two and a half hours. So if you're not determined, then it's probably not for you. The Red Hot's determination prevailed through the competition. Even though the team placed second in jazz and hip hop, they were proud of their long journey to the NDA finals. The team traveled all the way to Daytona, Florida to show that they are deserving of the first place title. Throughout the competition, it was a tight race and in preliminaries, the team was trailing by only .1 points. Unfortunately for the seniors, their goal of winning first place was a bittersweet loss. The team plays second overall at the competition and are happy with their results. Well, that wraps up our show. Again, my name is Jessica Pope. And my name is Thomas Wright. Thanks for watching our broadcast this spring. And be on the lookout for more coverage in the fall. Go, Go Blazers! Blazers.